Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is long-term updates. Now, most of these knives on this list I had some sort of issue with and either resolved them or didn't or whatever. Let's just get right into it. So, this is the Kaiser Swags Swayback. I have two of them, the exact same. Now, this knife comes with a nice, strong detent. The spring on it is very, very nice, and the action is really good. It is a button lock, so and it is on bearings. It, it's very, very smooth. Both of them are very similar in their action and detent. Now, the thing with these is that both of them have created a little bit of lock rock. Now... This locking system is different than liner locks or frame locks. There's a spring right here that pushes into that plunge that goes right there in that notch. Bang. Now, both of them have gotten a little bit of rock. Now, with button locks, that can be kind of typical. This one's a, a lot lighter than this one, or a little bit lighter than this one. I imagine it's just going to keep getting worse. But that's kind of the nature with a lot of button locks. That's why I encourage companies to use a strong spring, which this one does have. But, you know, it just is what it is. I, you know, they were both rock solid from the start. But just after use, um, sharpening and, you know, fidgeting, they have created a little bit of rock when it's open. It has a little tiny bit. This one's a little bit worse. Maybe I can show it to you guys. I'm not sure if it'll come over the camera, but. You can see it's slightly moving against that plunge, but. Um, the only way to really fix that is to either use a stronger spring or. Um, you know, send it in and then cut out a better space uh, for that plunge or to put it a tighter plunge in. The best way I would say would be to put a tighter or stronger spring in. I Maybe I'll do that in the future. Maybe I'll make a spring or something. But as of right now, it's really not that big of an issue. Now, I, I say that because with this locking system, unlike a liner lock or a frame lock where that can cause a serious problem this being a button lock it really doesn't um, i'm not saying it doesn't mean it can't fail or anything like that but you know a liner lock when you're getting play it uh it can make the lock the lock slip out of place in this case we do have a spring constantly pushing tension so that's not likely to happen but you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll figure out a way to fix it in the future. I'm not sure. This next knife, the Tucson TS-129, zero issues with it. It is rock solid like it always has been. Stupid smooth. Detent is great. This thing has been a great asset to my collection. Um, great geometry. Great everything. I mean, this is just a phenomenal knife. Well, well built. Extremely well built. Now, I did have Gilliam bearings in it for a little bit. But I did switch them out back to the original bearings because I needed those bearings for a different knife, which is going to have an update here soon. But awesome, awesome knife. Now, the next one is the Elementum Button Lock. Now, small, tiny issue. Okay, so this one has been great. I even sent it over to Mike Emler. Now, there's one thing I noticed very different about these two. My button on this one is a little bit better. It actually sticks out a little bit farther. Now, this one, you'll see, it doesn't stick out as far. Maybe you couldn't see that, but maybe you can't really see it, but it does, and you can feel it. I can feel, maybe it's just the spring strength. Now, this one functions great. No issues with the function. It works just fine. There's one little issue. We'll get to that in a second. But this one, I can feel the tension on the spring is just so much better. Um, now, it is very, very small and minute. If I handed somebody this one, they wouldn't notice anything different without touching this one first. My guess is my spring, my spring is just a slight bit stronger 
or maybe my plunge is just the geometry on it's just a slight bit better now this one zero issues with it um it's rock solid in all directions and this one's the one i've used the most now this one does have one tiny 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 thing and it goes away so it does have while it's open a tiny wait okay right now it doesn't have it like i said it goes away so sometimes i'll open it up and i'll get a little tiny bit of lock rock now it's very very tiny and i noticed if i open it up a couple times and then check it it'll go away like right now it's not there Okay, right now it's not there, but it does come every once in a while. Now, most likely that's just the plunge breaking itself into a good spot. This little uh, disc that they have attached to the lock bar. You can see it right there. That little tiny disc is attached to the lock bar. And it's just breaking itself in a nice little spot right there. And it's nice and strong. Now, this one, obviously same thing. But this one um, just hasn't changed, I guess. Or, um, you know, it hasn't had an issue where I felt any type of rock at all. This one, oh, right there. I feel it a little tiny bit. It's not moving. I, it's not even lock rock. It's lock play. Because lock rock would be it's moving the actual lock bar, like where I start putting stress on it and it starts moving like that. That's not what's happening. It just has like a little space, but like I said, open it up a couple times, it does go away. So I don't know if it'll get worse. This one's actually being given away. Um, this one was actually donated from um, Civivi to give away. So, but you know, it, that's that's kind of the nature of button locks. That's why it's nice when we find when we get button locks that have a really solid lockup. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to get worse. It most it'll probably it might get better. It might get worse. I'm not positive. There's, you know, there's nothing I can say about that. Um, it's very solid in the closed position. It does function perfectly. I mean, it's an awesome knife. Um, just sometimes, it, and it's so tiny that I, I almost didn't even say nothing. That's That's how tiny it is. Next one, now I did do a full video on this one, so I'm just gonna talk about this one very quickly. So this did come to me and it did have a couple issues. I sent it in, it had rock really bad. Or, sorry, not really bad, but it had rock that wouldn't go away. Strengthening the lock bar would not work. It was something in the pivot where it was having play. Sent it in, they replaced the liners. I was kind of upset because instead of getting titanium liners like it originally had, they replaced it with a steel liner. But the steel is, uh, I forget the, the, what kind of steel it is, but it is, I, I, they say it's even more expensive than the titanium, that it's, it's a really good quality steel and that it's going to make it last a lot longer it, you know just so many things about the quality of this steel is really good supposedly so you know i do appreciate that to some extent i just you know i wanted titanium but you know that that is kind of i guess just a thing like with the community where we think something's better and it's possibly not and in this case you know it is rock solid now and it did come with very, very light lockup, and it was very gritty. I took it apart, polished the track where the detent rolls. Now it is very, very smooth. The deployment is great. Um, everything's been rock solid on it. No play, any direction. I I'm very satisfied now with this knife. So, yeah, very, very satisfied now. But it, it was a little bit of a journey for this one. But all is well now. <clears throat> Next. Kershaw bare knuckle man this thing has I'm surprised how good it has held up because ah, man I beat the tar out of this thing um I haven't beat it up in a long time but I've definitely used it and you know worked with it and things like that but man I would expect it to have gotten rock gotten play gotten something nothing this thing has just been I mean I've sharpened it to death you can see it's got a very toothy aggressive edge on it um it's been sharpened quite a bit the lockup is 
not late considering because my knockout is like at 98% lockup. And I got this at the, right around the exact same time. They've both had similar use, similar experiences, and the knockout definitely has not held up as good as this one. So that says a lot. Now, the tip is slightly bent a little bit, so if you look at it, it's not centered, but that was my fault. I bent the tip a little bit, um, stabbing into things. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, but yeah. I'm um, very, very happy with how this thing has held up. The action is still really good. Um, the detent is still really strong. Death lock went away because the detent broke in, so now I can put my fingers on the lock bar without any issues. Uh, feels like I need to put a little uh, KPL on it, but awesome. Next one. Now, this one I did have to tune up. This is the Concept Goblin. It came, and it had... Uh, Lock play. Pretty significant, too. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to say significant, but it was there. It was there. And so in the video, in my review, I took it apart, and I bent the lock bar a little bit. And so far, it's held up. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. It did come back. It did come back, and I did it one more time, but it took a while to come back. And after it came back, did the exact same thing, and it's right back to tip top. Um, action is incredible. Very smooth still. Detent is uh, tuned pretty nicely, um, especially now that I've adjusted it. But no, no play has came back since I fixed it for the second time. So it would, it was like the the blade was acting as if it was like this, and it was moving like that. But now that it's, you know, got a, you know good strong uh, tension on the lock bar, it's great. Next, did the same thing to this one. Quiet Carry Waypoint. This one came with significant lock play. Significant. Now, this one, it was pretty bad. Uh, and I tried to fix it once in the review, and it did not go away. The company said to send it in. I was stubborn, and I did not. And I eventually, after a long time of just dealing with it and dealing with it, I eventually... Took it apart, and I worked on that lock bar pretty good, and I will say it improved it massively. Not only is it rock solid now, and I've been carrying it quite a bit and using it quite a bit, it has not came back, but the detent is even better. I mean, it even got smoother. You would think that strengthening the lock bar would make it not smoother. You know, it would make it more stiff. Now, this isn't a false shut knife anyways. It is on washers. But the detent and the break from the deployment got so much crisper, so much nicer, and I'm so happy with this thing now. Um, it was definitely something that was always gloomy in the back of my mind every time I looked at it, and it would irritate me. And now the only thing glooming in the back of my mind is, will it come back? <laughs> but as of right now, man, this thing is super solid. I'm loving it. Nice and centered, I believe it is. Yeah, she's centered. Detent, very nice. Lockup is very solid. Even if I slow roll, I can hear that that click. I love it. And the lockup really didn't move much. Maybe a tiny bit. Two more. Now, this one, I'll go through it pretty quick because I've talked about it before. I had play in or um, side to side play. And originally, it did not have that. I put the new scales on here, did not have it. Stupid smooth, I could literally just push the button and it would just fall shut and it was rock solid. Then out of nowhere, one day it just started getting play. And I could get it to go away, but I'd have to tighten the pivot so much that I literally could not open or close it. Like I would have to push the lock and crank it down in order for it to go away. So there was no possible way for me to do to to get the action decent and have the pivot have no play. Now, I have taken this thing apart probably 15 times and tried to fix it and tried to figure out, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. It's just the way it is now. I thought about sending it in and seeing what they say, but I, at this point, I'm just like, screw it. My, my, you know, because 
it doesn't affect much. And my point is that it's because of the type of locking system it is, if if it has side to side, it's not going to make it fail the, with the compression lock. If this was a liner lock or a frame lock, yes, possibly. But being a compression lock, it's not that big of a deal. Now, I can make it stupid smooth where like I push the button and it just falls like it used to before. But then it has entirely way too much play. And in that case, I'm not okay with that. So I tighten it to a point to where I can easily drop shut it. But it's not like I push the button and it drops. I do have to give it just a tiny bit of encouragement. And there's just a little bit of play. Uh, more than I want, but the action's good. And I do like having good action. Now, I could tighten it up a little bit more and have a little bit less um, side to side play but then in that case i have to really swing it hard to shut it so i'm like screw it i'll just it's a tough knife uh great knife i do love the knife so much man this is just such a great knife um i hate that it has this but you know screw it man it's just it is the nature of the beast with the tool right it's not that it's it's not functional it's not that it's not tough it's very strong it has just a little tiny bit of uh play side to side not a big deal Last but not least, this one has been super solid, but it did not cut for crap. This knife was a bad cutter. It just was. The geometry sucks. I'll say it. The geometry sucks. It's thick behind the edge, short grind. Um, and so what I did was I decided to try something unique, at least in my opinion. I put a 20 degree edge bevel on this side and a 15 degree bevel on this side. <laughs> so after doing that, the cutting performance increased probably four to five times. I mean, this thing cuts extremely well. And now another thing I've noticed, there's a couple little dings here and there, but the edge retention went up too. I mean, I don't want to say it went up because I don't know how good it was in the beginning. I mean, it's S35VN. So, you know, I just, you know, say that's the edge retention, whatever S35 usually gets, you know, even though there's always variables, but it has been good. It's been great. I haven't noticed after doing that, that my edge retention went down or that it got brittle or that I was getting microchipping. No, it got incredibly, incredibly sharp. And you'll notice, this is another thing that you'll notice. This is S35VN. I normally don't polish S35VN, but you'll notice this little guy is, um, it's not fully polished. It does have some scratch patterns, but it's a very, very shiny. So, it got incredibly sharp with this type of edge bevel. Now, some people would argue, well, yeah, it's a 15 degree bevel. Of course it did, right? Because that is a way to get your edge to have a little bit more bite is to lay back the angle very far. But I normally don't like um, polished edges on S35. I normally like a medium to a medium, to, a medium grit, basically between 600 and 1200 grit. But Man, in this case, because of the two different edge bevels, one being 20 degrees, one being 15 degrees, it has just massively improved everything between the cutting performance, the edge retention, and the sharpness. So there you guys go. This, oh, I'm sorry. This is the mass drop um, Bob Terzola design, the... ATC, I don't remember, man. It, it's his compact utility folder or something like that. You just have to look up Bob Trezola drop knife, mass drop knife. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.